In this video, we are going to learn about the concept of combinations, that is, the number of ways of selecting some objects from a larger group of objects. So let's say that we have the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we have seven letters. Now, let's say that we want to have groups of three letters. So we want to find the number of groups of three letters. Okay? Now, what is an example of a group of three letters? For example, if I pick B, D, and G, okay, B, D, G, I'll just put it in curly brackets. This is one group, okay? I can have another group, let's say F, A, B, okay? Like this, we can have many, many groups. Now, how many such groups are there? That is what we are concerned about in combinations, right? Let's see. Can we use something that we have already learned to solve this problem? For example, if I said, I want three letter words. Okay, that's not the same as groups of three letters. I'll explain what the difference is. So what we would have done is, we would have put three blanks and said, the first blank can be filled in seven ways because there are seven letters. The second blank can be filled in six ways, and the third blank can be filled in five ways. So this will be seven into six into five, which is also seven factorial by four factorial. Because if you do into four, three, two, one, and you can divide by four, three, two, one, you'll get seven factorial by four factorial. And this is something that we have already learned when we did permutations or arrangements. But this is not what is asked. We want groups of three letters, which means what? If you take three letter words, for example, let's take B, D, G. B, D, G, D, B, G, G, D, B, etc. will all be separate words, but they are all the same group of three letters, which is B, D, and G, right? Now, we want only one count for this group, not so many different counts. But how many is this? Well, that's not very difficult because once you have B, D, and G, these words are just different arrangements of the letters B, D, and G. So the number of ways of arranging, ways of arranging B, D, G is three factor, okay? That's because there are three letters. Now you might say, sir, this is true for BDG. What about FAB? Well, FAB also has three letters. So you will start with ABF, AFB. I'm doing it systematically now. BFA, then FAB, FBA. Again, three factorial. You don't have to list everything. You should know that because there are three letters, every group of three letters will have three factorial words where the same set of letters are used. Now the question is, how many such groups are there? That is our question. Well, we don't know that that's our goal. But suppose we say, whatever be that number, if you multiply that by three factorial, you must get the total number of words because this full array will contain all the possible words. Suppose the next group that I write is C, D, E, then F, A, I don't know, uh, E, right, like that. Now, for each of these three letter groups, there will be six words. So now the question is, how many such groups will be there if you count this as one, two, three, four, etc. We can say this is the total divided by six, because each group is repeated six times. But the total we already found, the number of three letter words is seven factorial by four factorial. So number of groups is total words divided by three factorial, okay? So this is seven factorial by four factorial times three factorial. And what you will find is that that four came actually as seven minus three. 
remember for n objects if you are choosing r and arranging or if you are arranging r out of them it's n factorial by n minus r factorial this is the npr right so this is the same as 7 factorial by 4 is nothing but 7 minus 4 sorry 7 minus 3 and 3 factorial so if you have totally 7 letters you want groups of 3 letters the number of groups is 7 factorial by there is a 3 and then a 7 minus 3 whole factorial okay 7 minus 3 is 4 so it's 4 factorial now in general to find number of ways of choosing r out of n will be n factorial remember n is our 7 in the previous example divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial again n factorial by n minus r factorial will be the number of words you divide it by r factorial because you are selecting r letters and you can form r factorial words out of each group okay therefore this is our required formula we write this as n c r n choose r you are choosing 3 right is n factorial by r factorial times n minus r factorial